What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a luxury wish list. Although I don't know how luxurious this is compared to the wish list that I've been seeing. Uh, but I'll explain when we get into it. So if you're new here, my name is Alyssa Lenore and I do these kinds of luxury fashion related videos. And if you're into that, along with vlogs, home stuff, decor, Korean dramas, cooking, cleaning, and you're into that kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. And also feel free to check me out on Instagram where I post every single day. Okay, let's get into it. I made a list. I asked you guys uh, maybe a week-ish ago what video you wanted to see first, my most used bags of 2020, and a luxury wish list for 2021. I will be doing both, but I just want to see which one was going first. So I figured it's January. Let's get this list out of the way and we'll see what gets crossed off of it. It's a pretty short list, to be honest, but we'll see how much I end up rambling on about each and everything. So in terms of luxury, I don't want to be just telling you about like all these designer things that I want because luxury for me is now also including things that I don't necessarily need but would be just nice to have. So I have workout stuff in here, I've got home appliances, I've got furniture, so it's just a mishmash of things and I'll let you guys know what I'm hoping for for 2021. Besides the obvious, like, it would be great to get a vaccine. Okay, so the first thing that is on my 2021 wish list is a Peloton bike because ever since Mark and I got engaged, I'm just like, oh shoot, if we get married, I want to be in good shape. So we actually already did buy the bike. We are just waiting for it to arrive. It's just not coming for at least another month-ish, five weeks, something like that. So that is on its way. A pretty sizable investment, I wanna say, because the bike that we got is the Peloton Bike Plus. So Marco's gonna be using it, I'm using it. I'm already using the app uh, to work out and kind of get my endurance back up, my stamina. So I have been pretty consistent in my workouts for the month of January, which is a lot more working out than I did all of last year. Last year was my potato year. So yeah, Peloton bike is the first thing that is on this list. And I will definitely let you guys know how I feel about it once it comes in. The good thing is that there is a trial with that bike, so we'll use it consistently and just, if it's not for us, we return it. If it is, we keep it. So that is the first thing on the list. The next thing on my list, before we get into like all the bougie designer things, is a new refrigerator. Why is this on my list? I don't know. I just would like a nice fridge. The one that came with the house is just very, it's like, it's fine, but I feel like I would love the French door ones with a drawer underneath. I want the little like clear window where you open it and you only access the beverages. Uh, there's like a specific one that I think Mark and I were looking at, but I mean, we don't need to buy a new fridge. We are currently um, about to start renovations on our garage and redoing our driveway. So that's why I'm keeping this list to a minimum. Like having a house, you definitely need to prioritize certain things. So we're doing the garage and driveway first. By the summer, I would love to have a, like a nice little patio, backyard area, redo the fencing. So that is also on the list, along with the refrigerator. Now that I've gotten that stuff out of the way, this is where it gets to the bougie designer things. So uh, something that is on my wish list, but I don't know if I'm ever actually going to buy it. It is the Cartier Panther de Cartier watch and this watch is just stunning, it's beautiful, it's simple, it's chic, it's classic. Would never buy it brand new because my goodness, that price hurts me like deep down. I would definitely do it pre-owned, although the pricing now is getting pretty up there and I just don't know realistically if I would be wearing a watch that often since I do have my bracelet. Even the Hermes watch that I got pre-owned, I only still wear it sometimes. I think I've only worn it twice. So is it realistic for me to buy a watch that costs that much and I'm not even going to wear it that much? No. So unless I find like a really great price for it in the pre-owned market, 
it's just gonna stay on the wish list and not on the crossed off list so yeah but I do think it's such a stunning watch and I just love how thin and dainty and flat it is how it just like doesn't it's not too busy it's not too hectic but I think it's just it's a very elegant style and I'm into it next up on this list is a bag and it is an Hermes Kelly which I think is just such a beautiful piece and uh, I think in the gold color would be beautiful in Epsom definitely want it to be a little more structured but that's also just that is very distant for me I'm not trying to add that to my collection anytime soon I've been working on just really downsizing my collection compared to my last bag collection video but I do think that the Kelly is stunning and I she's just she's she's a pretty girl so there's like a lot of furniture on my wish list but where am I even putting it there's no more empty space in this house I think what I'm itching for is just like redoing the house but you know that's not gonna work um so I would love to have a bigger sofa I am frustrated that I went with kind of a smaller sectional for the house because I was scared for it to eat up all this space but a bigger sofa would be great so West Elm has the new Harmony modular sofa which would be great because the ottoman can move right now we have one with a chase so it's literally just like always going to be configured that way but if I could do things over I would definitely get a bigger sofa for a living room just so that both Marco and I can just have our legs like extended out uh, maybe like a u-shape or something like that but yeah uh, we have the Harmony but it is the older version their newer modular version just feels a little bit more chic and refined so I really love that but yeah this is like a sofa that I feel like would just fit the house so much better but we don't need it we need to fix other things around the house so um yeah next up this is something this is the Dior Zodiac blanket which I think is so pretty do I need another bougie blanket no but do I love that it has all the zodiac signs on it yes I love it so I actually texted my essay about this and I'm gonna go take a look at it uh, just so I can see if I actually really like it or not but um, as of right now that is kind of staying on the list will I regret not getting it I don't know probably not so yeah that's that's just there the other thing on the list is just a pair of like nice diamond stud earrings I've been looking at these ones from Vray because you can pick out your diamond so might do that I don't really wear my earrings much anymore uh, so I usually never really wear earrings but I would love some just like nice diamond studs to wear all the time I feel like it's just gonna be simple and classic anytime I got studs they were just always super tiny but I think I just want something slightly bigger so um yeah earrings are on my luxury wish list I know that this list is kind of whack I know it's kind of boring but you guys wanted a luxury wish list and realistically where I'm at as someone is about to turn 30 just got engaged this is where my list is at this is where my priorities are I have also reached purse piece and you will understand why for next week's video um, this was on my list for a while it got crossed off before I even got a chance to make this video so it is off the list and you will find out what it is next week if you have any guesses let me know down below but the last thing on this list is the reason why this wish list is kind of whack um, and that is saving up for a wedding Marco and I just got engaged literally like a month ago and you know with everything that happened with the pandemic we are just really looking forward to being able to travel and see family and I don't know when that day is like I haven't seen my parents in over a year all I want to do is book a ticket and go see them as long as it's safe but I can't right now so Mark and I just really want to start saving up for this wedding whenever we can have it I don't know when I'm gonna start planning but because we want to do destination, I do know that we should be saving some amount in case, you know, it looks like there's a glimmer of hope to do that next year. So, need to save up for a wedding. 
because Marco and I will be paying for this wedding ourselves. Our parents are not going to be contributing towards it. So that includes saving up for a good videographer photographer. Nice venue. Um, the plane tickets to get there. A dress because I would love to just I am not a big dressy person. I don't like to get dressed up in gowns and wear heels. But for that day, I 100% will. I want to be able to, I think I want to design my own wedding dress, maybe in the Philippines. Um, that's something we would have to save up for. Uh, but yeah. And then we would love to have a dog at some point and taking care of like a dog's bills are expensive too. So that's where we're at. <laughs> Marco has been wanting a dog for so long and I would love for him to have one. Marco is allergic, so we need to go the hypoallergenic route. That would be like such a cute surprise for Marco. I just need to do more research on it and figure out what is the best way to go about it. So as of right now, yeah, I don't really have much else going on, but that is my luxury wish list. So just to go over it again, we got a Peloton bike. If I could, a new fridge. We are focusing on the garage and driveway. I would love to renovate our backyard. Uh, there's a Cartier watch thrown in there, a sofa, a Dior blanket, a Kelly, and what was the other thing I had? Planning for the wedding. Can you guys let me know in the comments down below <laughs> what name one luxury thing that you would love to have? versus something that, I don't know, something that's more of like an adulting kind of thing. Like, do you need a new appliance? Do you need to renovate something in your house? Let me know because that's where I'm at. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on this list and your recommendations. Ask my opinion on something. I don't know. I'm actually glad that this list isn't super long. So um, yeah, that's about it. I really just want to go to the Philippines and see my parents and plan a wedding and like even just to celebrate my engagement with my mom who I haven't seen in so long. So as always, thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for next week's super fun video. It's going to be very exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!